Okay, so you're the expired. So you can even tell me the same thing. Okay. Okay, okay so ring, ring. Hello? Hello, Gabriel. Yeah, who's this? Yeah, this is Lloyd. Uh, look, really quick, I was calling about the home that you have on Main Street. Uh, is that still available or was that already sold? Uh, it was actually taken off the market. We weren't, we weren't going to sell it. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, but for sure, you guys had an intention to sell in the first place, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't have put it up for sale. Yeah, we wanted to sell it. We we're just, we didn't, uh, we didn't end up selling it with the, with the old realtor, but no, I don't think we're going to sell anymore. I think we're going to hold off. Oh, okay. So what happened? Well, I mean, we put us up. I mean, we, we had offers, but nothing was, was worth biting. So we just decided to take it off the market and, and try it later on. Mm. Mm. That's crazy. You know, that your home came off the market, especially because right now we're in a seller's market where we're seeing multiple offers, bidding wars. I mean, right. I'm sure yeah. you have seen that happening, right? Yeah, I've heard of stories like that, but for some reason we just didn't get that type of uh, that type of traffic. Wow, that's actually shocking. Um, so you did get offers? Yeah, we had a couple. I mean, I mean that's a, at least what the, the agent told us. We didn't have a, a whole lot of details, but but we've had a few. What were the prices coming in at? Were they like what you were asking, or or what were they at? They were a little bit lower, maybe within like 20,000. What did your agent do to negotiate those offers? Honestly, I don't even know. I mean, we barely, we barely communicated here. He updated me a couple of times, but he didn't really tell me what his process was. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it sounds like the agent's communication was missing. You didn't get the activity that you wanted. Um, I'm just curious, how did you go ahead and pick this agent? Yeah. Um, the agent, I mean, it was one of those like friend of a friend type of things. We, mm. we connected with one of my old high school friends. So I figured I could, you know, help him out. Yeah. Okay. No, I hear you now, Gabriel, I don't want you to think that your home can't be sold. I think mm. in this case, you just didn't have the right agent with the right approach to get the job done. Um, now, if the home had sold, what were your plans? Where were you guys going to be moving to next? Um, I mean, we were thinking about moving a little bit up north, maybe, you know, Georgia area, um, somewhere in that, in, that, in that range. Okay. Did you guys yeah. have a time frame by when you wanted to be out there? Uh, I mean, we wanted to be there around now, but you know, yeah. we can't really do much about that. Yeah. Well, what if you could still be out there before the summer's over? How would that work out for you? I mean, that would be great, but I don't know. I think we're not. We're not going to go ahead with it because we're just tired. We don't want to go through that process again. Yeah. And like I said, you know, every agent works different. I don't want you to think that your home can't be sold or that every agent is going to come in and waste your time. Right. Because at the end of the day, you know, I wouldn't be calling you if I knew that I couldn't get the job done. And you're not right. the first and you're not the last that has told me a scenario like this. So, I mean, if you knew for a fact that your home could be sold in the next 30 days. Mm -hmm. You can still make the move over to Georgia. Um, it wouldn't be as stressful or as a big of a hassle as last time. Would you at least consider seeing a different approach? I mean, that would be great, but uh, what, would you, what would you do differently? I mean, I, I've heard more than 100 realtors this morning tell me the same exact thing. So, I mean, yeah, why, why would I go with you? Well, just like I said, I wouldn't be wasting my time. I know that time is money and I wouldn't be wasting my time if I knew that I couldn't get the job done. So what am I going to do differently? I'm actually going to get it sold. The fact that you told me that your agent supposedly brought you offers and you don't even know how they negotiated the offers, that just tells me that that agent did not know what they were doing. Because you know what I would have done if I had multiple offers on your home, even if they were not at the asking price? What would you do? I would I would have negotiated to see who's going to pay us the most because I guarantee you one of those offers would have come up to at least what you were asking. So you know what? Let's do this. When would be a good time for us together to get together? That way I can share with you exactly my approach and what will actually deliver results for you. Are you available during the week or on the weekends? 
Uh, I mean, it sometimes it changes. Sometimes I would have to check in with my wife and see when we'll when we'll be available. So, if you want, you can go ahead and like send me your information through text message, and then you know I'll call you when we're ready. Yeah, you know, I was planning on sending you my information regardless after a phone call. But when is it that you and your wife are usually like together? If I give you a call later tonight or tomorrow, do you think your schedule will permit for the both of you to be in the same room at the same time? Uh, we may have some time, possibly around eight o'clock tonight, if that's if that's fine with you. I mean, that might be a little too late. Okay, eight o'clock. You know what? I can definitely put you guys in there because it sounds like you guys are still serious and motivated to sell. So if we were to get together maybe later this evening and, you know, everything that I tell you makes sense, the numbers make sense. Are you guys ready to get the ball rolling and give me a shot? Well, you mean like coming over today or, or calling me and making sure that we're, we're good for, uh, we can do both. Okay. I can go over if you guys are ready or I can give you a call. Which one would you prefer? Um, let me, let me talk to her first and then, and then see what we could do. Cause I don't want to go ahead and invite you over. She's like, who are you? And then yeah. I'm the one in trouble. And then, you know. of course. So let's do this. You talk to her tonight or talk to her. I can give you a call later this evening and we can do like a three-way phone call. Mm -hmm. That way I can also kind of share with her what I've been talking to you about. And then we can coordinate a time for us to get together later this week, maybe tomorrow or the following day, because it sounds like you guys still want to make the move to Georgia, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we'll do that. Are you guys usually available during the weekends? I know you said your schedule changes, but do you think you might be available Saturday or Sunday? This Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, this Saturday around around 11 in the morning will be good because because then we have to do stuff afterwards. So that'll be the perfect time to Okay, so look, let's set something up tentatively for Saturday around 11 o'clock. In okay. the meantime, we can all chat this <laughs> evening about everything that we just talked about, but at least I can already put you in my calendar for Saturday because I am busy and I have some other clients, so I at least want to set some time for you. And um, Saturday at 11, we'll go over everything. So in the meantime, before I let you go, do you have a couple more minutes so I can get a little bit more information so I can do my homework? Uh, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then right there, I would pre-qualify. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was good. I think that's cool too, the three-way call. I forget to use that because sometimes it's obvious that the other partner is the decision maker mm -hmm. or like the main one. And mm -hmm. I go, oh, okay, you can keep talking to that one person, but it's true. We could do three-way calls and get everyone on board. Yeah. Wait, so how, did, how would you go about doing that three-way call? Would you treat it as a listing presentation or would you be more of a no it wouldn't be a listing presentation it would be more like let me get both of them on the phone and then i would be like hey wife lady um you know i was actually talking to your husband earlier he told me you guys you know you're stressed out about the last agent and i would kind of review everything that he told me so and that we're all on the same page okay yeah 